Here's a simple demonstration on how to install the new and improved InQkit XL. We're going to show first of all how to put in the fan heater pieces. We're going to assume two of the units. This will be 250 watts worth of heat plus a little bit of wattage for the fans. We'll use this frame to demonstrate an incubator, the ceiling and wall, to show how these are mounted as well as how the thermostats get mounted. As we determine where we want these to be installed, we're going to look at the ceiling of the incubator and try to space these equidistant from each other so that from the walls and each other they will be as close to equally spaced as possible. You'll notice there are four mounting tabs. We're only going to use three of the four. This one that's closest to the wires coming out will not be used. It's extra, not required. Place it up here. Use an awl to mark the spot there and on the underside there. I'll do those two. The third one can be done a little bit later. Then I'll take my mounting screws along with a magnetic screwdriver so it holds the screw in place nicely. You'll notice a couple things. First of all, I did not screw this so tight that the back plate is flush with the ceiling. I don't want that. There's a space up there because of the, the nuts on the back side of the mounting plate. That space is there on purpose. It creates a small amount of airflow up there in a, a thermal barrier between the, the back plate and the top of your incubator. An electric screwdriver is going to probably give you too much power and it's going to make it too easy to put that back plate against, flush against the ceiling and it could crack the back plate and reduce the gap that you don't want to do. With that, now I can put in my third hole. Leaving the space between the back plate and the ceiling wall. Repeat that with your other fan heater set. That is if you're going to use two. If your incubator is small enough, you only use one, then you're done with the mounting of this piece. The two fan heater combos are now installed. Now we're ready for the thermostat. I'm going to turn this around. First we'll show how to install the proportional thermostat. The proportional thermostat has a couple advantages over the basic thermostat. First of all, it is proportional, which means as the heat or the temperature in your incubator gets closer to the set point, it starts reducing the power and tapering it off until you actually hit the set point. It allows the temperature to, to maintain a tighter range of fluctuation. Very good for an incubator. Second of all, it gives you the option to also control a Turner motor with power wires that go to a Turner motor and then you can control how often it turns on and for how long. The basic thermostat is an on-off thermostat, which means when it hits a certain point, it will turn on 100%. Hits another point, it will turn off 100%. A little bit wider range, but done properly, it can also be a very good and effective thermostat for an incubator. Mounting this is extremely easy. All you're going to do is, is make a hole in your incubator the size of the blue box. Once that's in, push everything through. I'm going to take a little marker to mark the location of the holes there and there. Remove that piece. Oops. 
thermostat's now mounted. Now from the back side, there are a couple wires here that will then extend either through this back hole or you can have the power wire come in from the front side. That'd be the recommended way of doing it. There's a, a black bushing that comes with the kit, gets put into here. These then get pushed through the bushing to be able to connect them there. You now have power hookup. Connect these pieces together. Ready to plug it in. Let's take the power cord, plug it into power, and fire it up. You've got air circulation, you've got heat, you have a thermostatically controlled device. You can place the thermal sensor in a location that is very close to your eggs. These wires can get tucked away can be used in the future for turning your eggs if you have an auto egg turner installed. The basic thermostat is mounted by simply using two mounting screws with spacers. After marking the location on your incubator wall, drilling a hole for the power wires and sensor to go through. I've got two holes marked here. I'll put a pilot hole so I can then easily screw them into place. Now you're going to put your screws and spacers into place. Putting these spacers in so that there's a little bit of a space left over for the back side of the thermostat to mount into. Same on the other side. A little bit of a space there. For this thermostat, hopefully you can, this can be seen all right, to push it, push in, and then press down, locked into place. This provides a space between the thermostat and the incubator wall to allow some heat dissipation from the thermostat. It'll get a little warm, especially against a warm wall. It's going to be able to keep that uh, with some space behind it so it can keep it cool. Once that is hooked up, plug this in the wall after you've got your heater fan configuration plugged into it. It plugs in the same way the proportional thermostat plugs in. These two pieces simply hook into here. If you're only using one, then you use one of these ports, the other one just gets unused. In this case we use them both. Plug them both in, 